Hi folks, I'm Bob Schrupp, physical therapist. Brad Heineck, physical therapist. We are the most famous physical therapists on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Bob. And today we're gonna to pump you up. <sighs> our tribute to Hans and Franz. Okay, today we're gonna to talk about an intense five minute chest workout that you can do at home without dumbbells. What more can we say, Bob? This is- Unless you call us dumbbells. Then well, <laughs> that's a different story. You can keep watching in that situation. But Bob, before we go further. If you are new to our channel, please take a second to subscribe to us. We beg of you. We provide videos how to stay healthy, fit, pain-free, and we upload every day. Also go over to Facebook because we're gonna give you positive vibes if you like us this week. Feel them? Feel the mm, positive vibes, Brad? They're coming, Bob. We're Bob and Brad you on bet. Facebook. Okay, Bob. We want to get that chest a little bit bigger, you know. You want to feel strong like bull and look like strong like bull. Sure. <laughs> you want to be toned. Right. You don't want to have the saggy chest. Right. right. Exactly. Now, you know, our, our channel is how to be fit, pain, you do it, pain-free. Fit, pain-free, and uh, what? <laughs> Active. Healthy. Yes. Healthy, pain-free, right. and fit. So all those things. Now, this exercise is going to help you grow your chest, but it's not going to give you the big bulging right, muscles grapefruits here you right know. They, they, that you see on uh, a lot of these uh, channels but it's going to keep you healthy and really do some nice work and keep you going uh, now you can go out and buy some weights to get your chest muscles working well but if you really want to, you probably almost certainly have to buy a bench and if you want to work all the fibers of your pectoralis majors of the muscles here you have to have a bench that does an incline on it, which costs a little bit more. You're going to need to get a few sets of dumbbells. Incline like, and decline even too, right? Right. I mean, it, it, yeah. It, yeah, it gets complicated. Um, but, you know, you can get it set up, and it's going to cost you probably two or $300 minimum. Yeah, you start throwing in all the weights, and then you want to have different size weights, right. of course, so mm -hmm. they can keep bulking up. And, exactly. Uh, you know, then you're going to get a bench. Right. Uh, so, I mean, a bench, I mean, get a bar, too, well, or I don't know. Which is okay. Yeah, There's yeah. nothing wrong with that. But if you don't want to do all that, you want to do a five-minute workout, you want to spend $50 or less to get this going, what you're going to want to use is some stretch bands. Now. You know, I'm going to have people commenting, those hardcore weightlifters saying stretch bands aren't going to do anything, but that's not true. They will. They won't get you real large and strong, but they're going to do the job. So this is how we're going to work it. We're going to work the pectoralis major in the direction that that muscle specifically So we works. are using the wall anchor here right now right. along with bands, because uh, but you can actually, a lot of these band kits do come with these attachments that you can actually just attach to a door. A door, right. There's a door on it. Right. But if you want, you can go ahead and get the anchor because they, they make it handy and they... Right. Just to show um, you, you know, you take this and I want to use it, the anchor. You can just simply slap it on there and it's ready to go. So remember that the pec muscles, they abduct. Looking at it from a therapist's point adduct. of view. Adduct. Adduct, yeah. yeah. Adduct. So they pull the humerus this direction. Across. Right. Yes. So if you want to be specific to that chest, that's the direction you're going to want to exercise. I'm going to start here with just one band. And I'm going to work at the chest level so I get those mid fibers. And I'm simply going to go like this. And boy, if you just touch your muscle right there, you can feel that muscle working all the way over. i got to believe this is going to surprise a lot of people who don't understand anatomy. but. Yeah, because I think a lot of people think to work the chest, you're going like this. Doing the yeah, bench right. press. But this actually really isolates and really pulls right into the chest muscle there. Uh, so it's just a different way of going at it. And you're going to find out that you can actually get some pretty good hypertrophy by working this way. Exactly. By, by hypertrophy, we mean that the muscle is going to start growing. Get some growth and volume in that those fibers. And I just went from one to two. Now, if you want to get good growth, you're not going to do 40, 50 of them. That's too much. That's going to get endurance. You want to bring the get the resistance so that when you're between eight to 12 reps, that last one or two reps, you feel that muscle burning, and then you gotta give it a break. Then you might wanna do the other arm. Yeah, so you're and let one working. side rest while you're working the other side. Really efficient way to do the exercise. So what I found with the bands that pretty universally is that it's a lot easier on your joints. If you're getting older and you still you got a little bit of arthritis or a little bit, you know, your joints are really getting a little bit tender after doing things like this. Because I was having trouble, I, I used to be a big, I used to lo love the free weights, and now I don't do any free weights, Brad. I, I, it's all, all banned. It's all banned, or I do some pull-ups and stuff like that. But I, I, when I was doing uh, uh, the curls with the, with the big bar, I mean, I was getting sore in my elbow, and I had to convert to the band. And I, I work it hard, 
Um, but yet, it, it's just not as hard on my elbow. Can so, I talk now? Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> Bob had his little history, my which rant. is very true. Now I want to work the lower fibers of the chest muscles, so I'm going to go to the higher, the higher anchor. And again, I've got two bands on here. You can uh, make these any uh, resistance you want by varying the bands or how far you go out. Now I'm going to pull down, and it's going to work those lower fibers. Now, unfortunately, I don't have that massive atlas uh, bodybuilding body, so I could take my shirt off to show you the fibers. But, you know, that's it. That's all you got. But it really is doing the job. Well, borrow your imagination. There Just you imagine go. Now he, Brad's muscles are rippling right now. And then we're going to do the same thing on the other side to get those lower fibers. And then let's just go, and you want to make sure you get the upper fibers as well. So you're going to take the band from the lower level. And Your muscles gonna are going to be sore. Upper Brad. cut, yeah. Oh, yeah, Bob. You're going to a workout today. Yep, and I did this yesterday, and I'm going to do it tomorrow, too. I usually take Tuesdays off and do some other things. And, again, three sets of ten is what I like to do. Do now, one side. And what you may want to do, if you are trying to build a little bit more with the bands, you may not want to do this every day by any right. means. You may want to do it, give your body a 24 to 48 hour rest. Yep. Some people, if, especially if they hit it really hard, they might need to rest for two days. And that gives the muscles time to recover, heal, and you know, get strong. Right, you let so, them rebuild and become yeah. larger. Now, I really like to incorporate this. And this is what I do, I like to, do the fly, so we're getting both muscles at the same time. Plus, you're getting some more core work with this as well. Now, imagine laying on a bench and doing these. You'd have to have pretty light weight, actually, because it, if you're doing this widespread, it's very difficult right. as opposed to going like this. And the other thing is, once you get up to this point, you're no longer fighting gravity, so it becomes easy up here, where yours gets harder as it gets up to that Right, uh, that's point. one of the advantages of the band. You know, we can do it like this, and it's going to help the chest muscles as well, but it's not going to isolate the pectoralis major near as well as doing this. Across. And yeah. I, I, my, I'm telling you, those babies are burning right now, Bob. Do you have a but tattoo I, I on like your it. chest, Brad? No, I'm saving that for later. Okay. When I get old, I'm going to get one on there, because things weird happen to tattoos as the yeah, age they crosses do. the... <laughs> we can uh, we can attest to that. We have a lot of elderly in our ca case roll, our pay, not what a case case load. Yeah, and uh, yeah, things start to sag. You know, little little butterflies they, become th big. That's e enough, Bob. Big eagles. <laughs> <laughs> now I want to do the flies in all three directions as well. So I'm going down. We're getting the lower fibers, and then I'm going to also go from here and work the upper fibers as well. But I'm getting really tired, Brad, watching you. There's one thing we have to do as therapists. If you're going to work these muscles as much as we just have, we must balance the body out. Go and, ahead, Bob. Tell them why. This is where this really comes in handy because uh, this is very difficult to do with free weights. Uh, so now he's working on the muscles that are pulling you back because you've all you know you've been doing all these exercises that are pulling the muscles forward like this. And yet you've seen, I'm, I'm sure many of you have seen the same thing. Uh, you go to a gym and you'll see the guy that all he does is work his chest all the time. And he walks around, he's got a big chest, but he's walking around like this, kind of curved around, almost uh, orangutan-like because he's been working those muscles so much. You need to pull it back, especially, uh, we like to finish with this one so that you get in good posture as you leave the gym or leave your house. And, and you, you know, you're in that upright posture and, and you're looking like a fine young man or fine old man, in Brad's case, and <laughs> you don't look like some old guy hey, who uh, well, a cane. Actually, for you people 50 and over, this is really important, but it's probably equally as important for the younger person so you don't, you maintain a posture and you get used to it so that you're upright your whole life. You're breathing a little bit heavy. Wow, right. Bob, right. let me tell you, I'm feeling strong like Bolo, Bob. Well, I'm strong glad like you are. Bolo. Thanks everybody for watching.